I decided to go through my nail polishes at the end of 2015, beginning of 2016, and I somehow lost my intro for my nail polish declutter. So I'm refilming the intro for you guys. Um, I have since given all of the nail polishes that I decluttered to my mother, and she has been heading them out at the Young Women's with her church. So let me swap the angle and show you what I am decluttering this time around. So starting off with top coats and base coats, I have two of the Sesh Clear. These are my base coats. So I have one open right now and then I have a backup. Really love these. I'm gonna keep both of those. And then this is my top coat. This is the Sesh Beat. This one's my all-time favorite top coat, and I can usually find a deal at Sally's where it's buy one, get one free or something, so I usually stock up on the Sesh products when I buy them. This is the Wet n Wild Wild Shine top coat, and I'm really not the biggest fan of this one, so I'm actually going to pass this one along. I feel like this one never dries on my nails, so this one's gonna go. I'll set that back here. This is also from Wet n Wild. This is their matte top coat, and I actually really love this one. So I'm hanging onto this, and then also this is the Sinful Colors Glow in the Dark top coat, and this one is really nice for like Halloween or something, so I'm gonna hang onto this one too. So I'm actually keeping five, and I'm gonna get rid of one. Then I'm moving on to my reds and kind of my maroon colors. So I've actually never owned any Julep polishes. I did have a subscription that I got for my mother and she doesn't like the way that some of them sit on her nails so she did give me a handful of them. So these two Julep polishes here are from my mother. I these ones are in the shade Myrtle and Ilga. So right here, Myrtle is the first one. This is Ilga. I'm gonna hang on to both of them and see how I like the formula. I also have two of these Rimmel 60 Seconds little mini polishes. I actually really like the formula of these. This first one is 610 in Stand to Attention. And the second one is 620 Red Steady Go, and I'm actually gonna put this one into my Project Polish for 2016, so I'm gonna hang on to both of those as well. This is a little mini polish from e.l.f. This is in Smokin' Hot, and again, this one doesn't come with a ton of polish, and I actually really like the shade of this, and I don't think that these e.l.f. polishes are bad by any means, so hanging on to this one too. This one is from Maybelline. This is the Express Finish. 60 second nail color in Racy Romance and you can see my markings on here. This was in my project polish for 2015 But I only got down to right here I think I'm going to finish this off at a later date But I'm gonna hang on to it because I did pick this up on my honeymoon So I'm a little attached to this polish. This is a polish from China Glaze and it doesn't look like it But this is actually from their neon line. This one is in number 1013 Sacred Heart and I'm going to hang on to this for this year. If I don't use it by the end of 2016, then I will declutter it at that point. But for right now, I will hang on to it. I have an Essie polish here. This is in Sherling Darling. And I have a ton of these kind of maroon shades. So I'm going to actually pass this one on to my mother since I reach for something other than this more times than not. So I'm gonna send this one her way since she did give me the julep ones and see if she uses it a little bit more. I'm gonna set it towards the back. Next up is a Zoya polish. This one's kind of cool. It's got kind of a red maroon shade with kind of a gold sheen running through it. This one is in Tegan and I will hang on to this. I think I've only used this maybe once, so I'm gonna play with this a little bit more for 2016 and see if it's something that I enjoy using. And finally, I have a polish here from Sephora, the Formula X for Sephora line. This one is in Control Freak, 
And this is incredibly sheer. I'm going to actually pass this one on, see if a friend might want I'm it. Keeping eight of them, and I'm going to be decluttering two from my stash. I'm moving on to my orange polishes now. So this first one here, this is an Orly polish. This is one of my only, eh, I think I might have one other Orly polish. I would like to kind of dabble into that brand a little bit more in 2016, but this one is, I can't remember if it's a vinyl finish or a pleather finish, but this has a really nice finish on it. It doesn't have a name anywhere on the bottle, but I will be keeping this one. I have one from Niltini here. I think I got this from Ipsy. and. I've only used this a handful of times. When I did use it, it, I really wasn't a fan of it. This one's in my tie, and I think I'm gonna be passing this one along. Then, this is a polish from Urban Decay. I actually won four Urban Decay polishes in a giveaway from Joelle. I'll link her down in the description box below. She was very sweet to send these out to me, but this is an interesting polish because not only is it orange, but it also has this crazy kind of blue shift to it. There's like a shimmery blue, very fine glitter that runs through this polish. But I will be keeping this one. These are really cool polishes. I'm pleased with the formula. This one is in Bang. And the coolest part about these polishes, I think, is that the caps have a little skull on the top. So keeping this one. Then there is a Color Club polish. And this is a fluorescent orange, but this does not have a name on it. This came in a pack. All of my Color Club polishes that look like this don't have names. I can't tell you what the shades of any of them are, but I will be keeping this. I love the Color Club formula. Then this is a polish from LA Colors, and this is one of the Color Craze polishes from the Dollar Tree. This one's in the shade Shock. This is so incredibly sheer that I will be passing this one on. I have to put about three or four coats down to have this show up opaque. So this one is going to be decluttered. And the final polish here is one from Color Club again. And this one is in, in the shade Rain in Spain. I really like this polish. So I'm hanging on to four of them here and I will be de decluttering two. Moving on to my yellows and gold polishes. I have this first one here. This is from Julie G. This is one of her textured polishes. This one is in Gift of Gold. I've actually had this polish around for about six or seven years. I am just not a fan of what textured polishes like this feel like. On the nails, they're very gritty, they're very rough. Even if you put a top coat over them, they still don't feel right, and it kind of catches on soft fabric. So I'm going to be letting go of this one. I have this little mini CoverGirl polish here. This is one of the Glossy Days Gloss Teeny polishes. And this one is in number 670, hashtag get glowing. And it's really hard to find a yellow polish that is the right formula. So I will test this one out a little bit and see how it is before I declutter it. Next up is one from Nina Ultra Pro. This is incredibly intense. This is in the shade Solar Flare. And it might not show up on camera, but this is like a highlighter shade. It's very intense. I haven't reached for this one for a very long time, so I'm going to be passing this along. I think uh, my niece might enjoy that one a little bit better. And finally, I have one of these, again, from Color Club that came in that set that doesn't have a name on it. So I'm keeping two and getting rid of two. I decided to break my pink category up into two different sections. So this is my lighter pinks, kind of my pastel pink shades. And right over here on the far left, I have one of these little mini sheer Formula X polishes for Sephora. This is the Strength version, and this one is in the shade Wondrous. This is actually incredibly sheer, but it works very well for um, at home French manicures, so I will be hanging on to this. I also have an OPI polish here. This one is in the shade Mod About You, 
and I enjoy this one for doing nail art. Usually I'll reach for this one over a white and I really enjoy this one for French manicures as well. So that one again is staying. I'm not going to do very well in this category. I have a lot of pinks and I really enjoy my light pink shades. This one is from Zoya. This is in the shade Dot. This is one of my all-time favorite pale pink shades. So hanging on to this one. This is from Flower Cosmetics or Flower Beauty. You can find them at Walmart. This one is in the shade Gorgeous Gerbera. And I don't know about this one. Haven't tried it out yet. I'll hang on to it until I know, until I can form an opinion on that one. Next up is one from Color Club. I love this polish. There's some really fine micro glitters in here and then there's some larger kind of shiny glittery chunks as well. This one is in the shade Candy Sprinkles and I love it. It reminds me of a cupcake. So this one is definitely staying. This one on the other hand, this is from Simple Colors. This was from their Bloom Blast collection and this is in Flower Power. This one, I can't get it to apply an even amount of glitter, but I'm gonna work with it just a little bit more, see if I can figure out a way that it works best. And if it doesn't work any better by the end of the year, I will be decluttering this one. This is in Starfish. This is from Simple Colors. I like the tone of this, but it's a little sheer. So I'm, I, I definitely got my eye on this one, but I'm hanging on to it at the moment just because I do enjoy the shade so much. Same with this one. This is actually from MAC. This is in the shade Snob, and the lipstick in Snob is my all-time favorite lipstick from MAC, but the nail polish is very thin, and the color is just way off compared to the lipstick, so I will use this up entirely. I might even toss this into my Project Polish for 2016, but for now, I'm hanging on to it. And then again, with these last two, this is the Sally Hansen Salon Manicure Polish in 610. I pink I can, and this is a gorgeous shade for the springtime. This one I got from Birchbox. I'm not the biggest fan of this, but I don't have a problem with the formula, so I'll probably toss this one into my Project Polish before the end of the year. This is in the shade Rosary. So unfortunately, everything in this category will be staying. Now onto my brighter and darker pinks. First up is the China Glaze Polish in Pool Party. This is my all-time favorite bright kind of neon pink for the summertime. I love it so much that I do have a backup here. I'm gonna be keeping both of them. And this is actually the only polish. Before I started doing Project Polish, this is actually the very first polish that I ever used up entirely, so we'll be hanging on to both of those. Then I have this Formula X for Sephora little mini polish here. This one is in Power Source, and unfortunately, I think I'm gonna be decluttering this one. I do have a niece that I think would absolutely love this, and I haven't used it yet, so I might as well pass it on to her. I have a polish here from Wet n Wild. This is from the Fergie line. This one is in Fergalicious, and I'm intrigued to see the formula on this. I, I Obviously, I've used it before. You can see there's some polish missing, but I don't remember the formula or the shade on my nails, so I will be keeping it to test it out a little bit. I have one of these from Color Club that did come in the set. Love this really bright, intense, blue tone pink shade. That one's gonna stay. This one is another one from Wet n Wild, but this is their Spoiled line. I think I'm gonna be getting rid of this one. This is in the shade Kickin' the Habit, and I just reach for other polishes over this. This one chips really fast on me too, so this one is going to go. Then I have one from CoverGirl. It's the Outlast Stay Brilliant polish. This one is in number 170, Reliable Red, and you know, I've never actually used this before, so I think I would much rather send this unused polish off to either one of my nieces or off to a friend. So that one is going to find a new home, 
Next up is this polish from Simple Colors. This one is in cream pink. And this is a really gorgeous shade. It's a little bit of a darker pink, but it has this gold sheen running through it. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see that. This one is actually a dupe. Well, it's extremely similar. It's not a spot on dupe, but it's very similar to this one from China Glaze. This is in Strawberry Fields. And they're so similar that I think I'm going to be decluttering the Simple Colors one just because I paid more money for the China Glaze here. And you can see the only difference that I can tell is that the glitters in the gold sheen on the China Glaze polish is a little bit more noticeable than the one in the Simple Colors line. So I think I will be decluttering the Simple Colors one. I'll hang on to the China Glaze and maybe my mother or my friend will enjoy this one. Then I have another Simple Colors polish. This one is in Folly, and I think I got this from a Pinch Me box. I've never used this one on my nails. I need to pull this one out for the summer. Next up is one from Nina Ultra Pro. This one has been around for so incredibly long. The shade on this polish is Punky Purple. And this one is so clumpy. I tried to thin this one out with some nail polish thinner the other night. And I, this is the after effects of nail polish thinner. So my thinner is not working on this one. I think it's just too far gone. So I will be saying goodbye to this one. This one's just gonna go in the trash though. So I'm going to be getting rid of five of them and I will be keeping six. I decided to break up my purples into two separate categories. So I have these here that are my lighter or my pastel purples, and then I have some that are more of a deeper, richer, darker plum shade. So these are the first ones. Starting off, and I'm gonna tell you right now, I'm probably not gonna do very well on this category because I really love a light lilac shade. So this first one fits the bill. This is the Rimmel 60 Seconds Nail Polish, and this one is in 410 Lilac U. Love this one. The formula is spot on with this, so I will be keeping this one. I have this one here from Sinful Colors, and this is in 1180 Sweet Tooth. This is a really nice polish. I love the shade on this, so I'll be keeping this one as well. This is a Julep Polish. Again, for my mother, I've never tried it out before. This one is in the shade London, and I'm really interested to see the formula on this since I do enjoy a light purple shade. This one's a little bit different. This is more of like a gray, a gray muted light purple, and this is from China Glaze. This one is in the shade Below Deck. This is number 954, and I'm gonna hang on to this. I haven't played with this one very much, so I'm interested to see what this one's like on the nails as well. This has not been open yet. This is a polish from the Formula X and Sephora line. This one here is in the shade Harmonix, and I'm gonna hang on to this. They don't have a ton of polish to begin with, so it wouldn't be that big of a deal to work through it. Next up is one of these little mini ones from Color Club. I got this in a set from Birchbox. This is in the shade Pardon My French. It's a very interesting shade because it's bright on the nails. It almost has some kind of a fluorescence to it, but it's a pastel pale shade at the same time. So this one's in Pardon My French. I'm gonna hang on to it. This is one from Maybelline. This is one of the Color Show polishes in Lust for Lilac, number 166. I really like this, and this was a dupe. The reason why I picked this one up is because it was a dupe for, I think, a MAC nail polish, so I will be hanging on to that. Next up is a polish from Sally Hansen. This is one of the Complete Salon Manicures in 440 Punch Drunk. This is actually on my toes right now. Absolutely love this polish, love the shade, love the tone. It actually wears for a considerably long time, so I do enjoy this, we'll be hanging on to it. This is a really bright one. It's not coming off on the camera as bright as it is, but this is from Color Club. Again, it came in that set with a whole bunch of other ones. It doesn't have a name on it, but absolutely love that. I usually wear this one in the summertime, 
Here is one from e.l.f. This one's in the shade Punk Purple, and it's actually a lovely shade, so I will be keeping it. And if you can see here, I'm already maybe a quarter of the way through the bottle. I'm not sure if you can tell the separation there. That's where I'm at in the polish, so I'm excited to finish that off this year. Another one that I haven't opened yet is this here from Formula X for Sephora. This one's in the shade Ignition. Every other experience that I've had with Formula X polishes, they've chipped really fast. So I'm gonna see what the formula is like on this. If it's really chippy, I will be passing this on to a friend at a later date. So unfortunately, that is all of my light purples. I'm keeping every single one of them. Now I have the darker purples and plum shades. So starting off over on the left, I just went from lightest to darkest, kind of. And this is a Zoya polish. This one is in the shade Veronica. This is absolutely beautiful. I will be hanging on to this one. Next up, since I have so many of these same polishes here that are about the same tone, I have four that almost look identical on the nails. This one here from Sinful Colors, this is in Yu Goji, number 1502, and I will be getting rid of this one just because I have so many. And one of my all-time favorite nail polishes, this Illamasqua one here, is in the same tone as this. So even though I do love it, it's almost a spot-on dupe to this one from Zoya in Veronica. So I'll be getting rid of the Sinful Colors one. I'm going to put it right back here. This next polish here is from Zoya. This is in the shade Margot. I love the formula, so I will be hanging on to Margot. This one, like I mentioned, is from Illamasqua. This is my all-time favorite polish. This is in the shade Vice. It's stunning. It's just my favorite. My daughter and my father picked this out for me for my birthday, and I've loved it ever since. So I'm hanging on to this one. I'll probably never part with this. I have another one from Zoya. This one is in the shade Mason, I believe. Yeah, and this is a cool polish because not only is it a gorgeous color, but it almost has this duochrome to it, and then it has this kind of lighter pink glittery sparkle to it as the nail hits the light. So I will be hanging on to this one as well. Next up is a polish from e.l.f. And this is in Metal Madness. And this survived my declutter last year, but you know what? I've only reached for this one once. Well, I was gonna get rid of it. I'm gonna hang on to it for a month. If I don't reach for this in a month, this will be going. I have this one from Revlon. The color is probably the most beautiful shade I've ever seen in my entire life. I wish that this pulled the same color as it is in the bottle on the nails, but unfortunately, this is in 260 Bold Sangria. I will be letting go of this because it's just so dark on the nails. It never seems to dry, so I'm gonna be passing this one on. Next up is another one from Zoya. This was actually a gift from a very sweet subscriber. I've been wanting this for so long. This is the Zoya Polish in Aurora. This is absolutely beautiful. It has kind of like a holographic shifting sheen to it. It's it's one of the most beautiful polishes in my entire collection. So I will be hanging on to this and it's quite stunning over a darker polish as well. So next up is one from Estee Lauder and you know, as pretty as it is in the bottle, I just don't reach for this. And when I do reach for it, I'm quite disappointed. So I've only used this one twice in Zero N Smashed, and I'm just disappointed with this. So I'll never use it up entirely. I would much rather pass it on to somebody that will enjoy it a little bit more than I do. So this one is going to be decluttered. This is a polish from Julie G. This is another one of those textured polishes and this is more like a bluish purple kind of shade. This one is in Sugar Plum Fairy and I think this came out in some kind of a holiday collection. It's a pretty shade but again I just can't stand that texture on my nails and it's a pain to remove. So this one is going to be decluttered. Next up is a Sinful Colors polish. This one is a very 
dark, almost black, purple shade, and it has these little micro glitters. I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to see those, but I just don't wear this. I have to put about four coats down for it to work for me, and I'm not into that. I'd much rather reach for something that only requires one to two coats, three tops, so this one is going to be decluttered as well. So I am getting rid of five, and I'm keeping six. Next up are my white polishes and my lighter pastel neutrals. This first one here, this is more of a lilac white. It's extremely pale, but it does come off white on the nails. This one is in 410 Lavender Cloud. Absolutely love this polish. This is from Sally Hansen, one of the Complete Salon Manicure polishes, and I will be keeping this. I love the formula on it. This other one here, this is from Pure Ice. This one is a pure white shade, but I will be decluttering this one just because I don't like the formula. It's incredibly thin, it's patchy, it's not opaque. This one is in the shade Superstar, and while it's nice for the price, I'm just not interested in keeping this around. I have another one of these little mini Color Club polishes. This came in a set from Birchbox. This one is in Mod in Manhattan, and it's a very, it looks white if you just paint your nails, but it has the slightest hint of a peach to it. So I'm going to be keeping this one. It didn't take very long to finish off the other one, and I'm probably already a quarter of the way through this bottle, so hanging on to that one. I have this here. This is the Maybelline Color Show Polish. It's one of a limited edition polishes in number 970 Sandstone, and I do have this one in my project polish currently, so I'm hanging on to that. Next up is one from Sinful Colors. This is a beautiful polish in the bottle, but this is one of those nudes that just doesn't look right with my skin tone. Um, this is in number 1422 Beige of Honor, and I'm gonna be letting this one go. It just doesn't look right on my skin. The formula is great, but the color's off. I have two polishes here from Julep that came from my mother. I haven't tried out either one of these. This first one is in Jennifer, and the other one is in Whitney. So I'm gonna be testing these out this year, so I'll hang on to both of those. Then I have a Zoya polish. This one is in Chantal, and this isn't my absolute favorite nude, but I can make it work, especially if I have some kind of a nail art design in combination with this polish, so I will be hanging on to this one for now. Next up is a Wet n Wild polish. This is one of the Mega Last polishes, and these are the ones with the wide brushes. This one is in Sugar Coat 205B, and the formula on this is not my favorite. I have to struggle with the formula so much. It never feels like this one dries, so I will be decluttering this one. Then I have one from Nina Ultra Pro. This is a pretty color in the bottle, but I'm just not a fan of how it looks on the nails. It does have almost a silver sheen to the polish. This one is in Spun Sugar, and I might use this one last time and then I will pass it on. I'll probably hand this one off to my mother since she likes those more muted colors. I have a Zoya polish here. This is in shade Rue and this is a pretty color. This might have almost been able to be put in with my pastel purple lilac colors, but it's just such a muted nude color that I tossed it in with these. So I will be keeping this one. I will be keeping seven and passing along four. I'm moving on to my green polishes now, and it's kind of a tight squeeze. I do have quite a few green polishes. So starting off over on this left side here, again, this is one from Julep that my mother gave me. This is in the shade Alley. I haven't tried it out yet. I'm going to hang on to it and see how the formula is. Then I have this one from Sally Hansen. This is the Hard as Nails Extreme Wear Polish. This one is in 680 Kelp Yourself, 
and I don't wear this one very often. I'm usually reaching for something else over this one, but I'm gonna make a point to try and use this one a little bit more this year, so I will hang on to it. I have a polish here from China Glaze. This is in Refreshment. This is kind of the classic minty green shade. I will be keeping that one. I like the China Glaze formula on that. Here is one from OPI. This one came from my mother. This one's in the name Stranger Tides. So hanging on to this one since she did give that to me. I have one from Color Club here. This is just a little mini guy. This is in London Calling. It's quite neon on the nails. So I do like how that's a little bit different. It sets it apart from the other polishes. So I will be keeping this one. Here is one from Sinful Colors. This one is in the shade Pistache. I did paint my toenails this shade maybe last week just to try out the polish. I hadn't used it very much. So I've kind of decided that this is not my favorite polish. I don't like the tone on my skin, so I will be decluttering this one. I'm gonna put it down here in the front since there's not much room here. This one here is probably my all-time favorite green polish. This is from NYC in a New York Color Minute. This is number 298 Highline Green. Love this one, just the kind of yellow tone to the green here. It's beautiful, love it to death. Keeping that one. Here's one from Nina Ultra Pro, and I've had this one around for a very long time. This is an electric green. It's so bright and intense. I usually keep this one around and wear it for St. Patrick's Day, but I think I'm gonna let this one go. I don't see the name on this one. The name came off of this one as well, so this is just going to be decluttered. I'm gonna see if maybe my niece or somebody that's younger might want this one. Next up is a polish from Salon Perfect. This one is in the shade Kaboom. And this is a really cool polish. I don't know if you're gonna be able to tell there, but they're like light green and almost a teal blue green sort of mixture of shades and they're just little flecks in the polish. If you paint two coats, uh, two or three coats of this on your nails, it'll make this polish opaque. And it's really cool because you just have two different shades on your nails. It's very awesome. So I'm keeping that one. I've used quite a bit out of that. Then here's another one of these Color Club polishes. This is more of a blue on the minty green scale, this is more of a bluish green. So this one, again, doesn't have a name. I'm gonna keep it though. Here's one from Wet n Wild, the Fergie line. I don't remember the formula on this one either, so I'm gonna hang on to it. This one is in the shade Miami Spirit. So that one's gonna stay. Here's one from Sinful Colors. This is one of their shine Sinful Shine polishes with gel tech. I love the tone of this. The shade is perfection, but the formula is just so horrendous. I'm gonna have to get rid of it. I can't deal with it. This is a beautiful polish with like a gold glitter like on the tips or something, but I can't deal with the formula. It's very thin. You have to put a ton of coats down. It never dries and it chips like crazy. So this is gonna go. This one is from Urban Decay. This is another one of those that I won in the giveaway. This one is in the shade Zodiac. This is a really cool polish. It's like a green, but it's got blue and gold and all kinds of different shimmers in it. I really like that one. This one is from Revlon. This is one of the Brilliant Strength Nail, Elen Nail Enamels in number 100 in Thrall. It's like this deep olive green, but it doesn't come off on the nails like that. It's very dark. It almost looks black. You can't really see the sheen to it. So if I want a black polish, I'll reach for a black. So I'm actually going to declutter this one. And finally, this last polish here is a Rufian polish. This one is in Hedge Fund, and it's kind of a muted green with a gold sheen running through it. It's not my favorite color, but there's not a ton of polish in here, so it won't take me very long to use it up. I'm keeping 11, and I'm going to be getting rid of these four right down here. Next up are my blues, and 
I'm starting off with the lighter ones over here. This first one is one from Essie. This is in Parka Perfect. It's a very faint sheen running through it. It's almost like a silver sheen. So I'm keeping this one around. I really like this with gold like a glittery gold on the tips. Then this one came from a lovely subscriber. Thank you so much. This one is Zoya's Kristen. I really love this. This one is actually opaque in one coat. If you're looking for a very light blue, this one is beautiful and the formula is spot on on this one. I'll be hanging on to that. I have two from Julep. I've never tried these before. These are in the shade Margaret and Danica. So Danica is the more kind of purpley blue toned polish. So I'm hanging on to those as well. Next up is one from Urban Decay. This is one that I went won in a giveaway. This one is in the shade Chaos. And this is a cool kind of bright blue shade with a blue sheen to it, so keeping that one. This is the Sinful Colors Polish in Endless Blue. One of my all-time favorite nail polishes, probably in my top three favorites. And this is actually a repurchase. I finished off one of these in 2015 in my Project Polish. I will always repurchase this. It's a fabulous polish. This one, on the other hand, these are pretty much dupes shade-wise, but the formula on this other one is horrendous. This is called the Sinful Shine with Gel Tech, and this is just so bad. The shade name on here is Most Sinful. It's a beautiful shade, but the formula is absolutely horrendous, just like that green one. I can't work with it. So this one is going to be decluttered. I have the China Glaze Polish here. This one is in Shower Together. And this is a really nice kind of bluish aqua kind of shade. So hanging on to that one. I do have a little bit of progress in that. This one has sort of a teal glitter, very fine glitter running through it. This one is in Blue Sparrow, and this one's one of their neon polishes. It's in their neon line, but the all the writing rubbed off on that one. I'm keeping it. And this last one, this is also from Sinful Colors, but this is a very dark, deep, navy shade. Same goes with this one, that it's so incredibly dark on the nails, you can't tell that it's blue. So this one, it's in Navy I Do but I'm gonna let this one go. I've only used this one once on my nails, so I have two that are leaving the blue pile. Okay, I had to refilm part of my footage, so these are my blacks and grays, silvers, that kind of thing. So over here on the left, I have one from Orly, and this one does not have the name on it, unfortunately, but it's kind of this taupey tan shade, but it has these little silver glitters running through it. I'm about a third of the way, maybe a quarter of the way done with it, so I'll hang on to this. Maybe I'll use this up before the end of the year. Another one from Orly is this one right here. This is a pretty intense metallic shade. This one's in the name Shine. Even though metallics aren't my favorite on my nails, this one is pretty nice. Here's one from Revlon from the Brilliant Strength line. This is in number 140 Magnetize, and this is such a cool polish. With the matte top coat over the top, this one's really nice, so I will be hanging on to this one. This almost has like a taupe tone to it that's a little bit different than that other Orly polish I just showed you, so I will be hanging on to this one as well. Here is one from Sinful Colors. This is one of the Sinful Shine with Gel Tech formulas, and I'm not sure if it's because it has the glitter running through it, but this one is actually not as bad as the other Shine formulas. So this one is in the shade Prosecco, number 1480. So I will be hanging on to this one just because of that sheen that it has. I have a gray shade here. This is from the Petite line. This is in the shade Vintage Gray. And I actually really enjoy this one, so I will be hanging on to it. And it doesn't come with a ton of polish, so it won't take very long to use up. I also have another plain gray shade. This is probably my favorite of the two. This is from the NYC in a New York Color Minute. This was in my Project Polish for 2015. And this is in the shade Sidewalkers, number 270. Really like this polish, and if you can find it, I highly recommend it.
I would usually pair these two together. It took me the longest time to figure out how to wear this OPI polish here. I think this is in Love, Peace, and OPI. So it's very sheer, but it has this kind of duochrome to it where it goes from a purple to a taupe, then to a green. So I'll be hanging on to both of these since I like to wear them together. I have one from Sally Hansen here. This is part of the Complete Salon Manicure line in number 160, Shoot the Moon. This is a gorgeous polish. I really love this one. Highly recommend this polish. It almost has a hint of green to it. So I really enjoyed this one. I'm not doing very well in this category. I have this OPI polish. This one is called Get in the Espresso Lane and my mother gave me this one, so I haven't reached for this one very much, but I'm gonna make it a point to wear this one this coming fall. So that's my only brown. I have a black here from the Petites line in Black Amethyst, and it's not just a black, it has kind of a fuchsia, purple, glittery shimmer running through it, and this one, you can actually see that fuchsia purple on the nails as opposed to this other one that I decluttered from Sinful Colors, this one in Daddy's Girl. This one, it's very sheer, it's an awful formula, so this one will be decluttered and I'll be hanging on to the Petites one because of that. This is an interesting polish, this is from Sinful Colors, and it's a black but it has this kind of teal shimmery glitter running through it. This one is in the shade What's Your Name, number 813, so I will hang on to this one. It almost has like a a rainbow effect to it, where it goes from a purple to a blue to that teal shade. I'm not sure if that's picking up entirely, but I'll hang on to this one for now. I have a few black polishes here, and I definitely don't need four of them, so I need to declutter a few of these. I know this one can be decluttered. This is from OPI, and it has the slightest bit of sheen to it. You're probably not going to be able to see that, but I, it doesn't have a name on it. It was just a collection that was just barely released not too long ago, but I will be decluttering this one because I've never used it. Here is one from Zoya. I'll be hanging on to this one. This is in the shade Willa, and I like the formula of Zoya polishes, so I'll be hanging on to that one. This is from Sally Hansen, the Hard as Nails Extreme Wear line in number 370, Blackout. This is a pretty nice polish. I like the formula of this one too, so I'll hang on to this one. And then my last polish here is from Sinful Colors. This is in Black on Black and I will declutter this one too. So I will be keeping 13 polishes back here and I'm getting rid of these two plain black ones. This one, these, these are more of my finer glitters and then I have some chunkier ones that I'll have in the next category. So starting off, I have two silvers over here. This first one is from Sinful Colors and it is in 923 Queen of Beauty and it's just your basic kind of silver glitter. I do like to use this one for like a, just to put on the tips of my nails, so I will be hanging on to this one. This one here is the Nicole by OPI polish in Guys and Galaxies, and this one almost has like a holographic glitter in it, but I don't like the way that this one looks on the nails. The ratio between the glitter and the clear polish just isn't right for me, so just because of the way that it sits on the nails, I will be decluttering this one. Next up is a Zoya polish. This is one of their Pixie Dust polishes. I think they just discontinued this line. This one is in the shade Tomoko, and it's a very light gold shade, but this looks really nice on the tips as well, so I'll be hanging on to this one. I have this green one from Sinful Colors. This is really pretty over a black polish. And this is in Call You Later, number 932. So I will be keeping this one. It's like a green with yellow glitters in there too, so this one's really nice. Next up is one from Sephora by OPI when they were when OPI polishes were sold in Sephora's. I really don't enjoy this one very much. This is in the shade I'm So Sorry, S-A-R-I, and I just never reach for this one. I remember when I did use it, after a day or two, the entire nail would just pop off, like the whole polish would just pop off. So I am not a fan of this formula, so I'm gonna be passing this one along. And then I have probably my all-time favorite 
glitter polish ever. This is from Wet n Wild. This is in the shade Sparked. This is really beautiful. This is actually in my Project Polish for 2016. If you can find this, definitely pick it up because it's a beautiful pink glitter. This is what I was wearing in the other footage from this video, so really like that one. And then I have this here from Sinful Colors. This is more of a fuchsia pink glitter, and I generally use this as a topper over another pink shade. This is in the shade 1381 Decadent, so I'll be hanging on to this one probably for Valentine's Day. I'll use it, so there's that. I have this one here from Sephora by Formula X, and this is beautiful in the bottle, but it is such a thin formula that I'm going to be decluttering this one. This is in the shade Power Hungry, so I will be decluttering this. It's beautiful. I wish that it would come off on the nails how it looks in the bottle, but unfortunately it doesn't. So that one will be going. And finally, the last one is another Sephora by Formula X polish. This one is in the shade Explosive, and this one has almost like a holographic glitter to it as well. It's like a dark gray base with that holographic glitter. So I'll be hanging on to this one. So I will be keeping six from this category and decluttering three. Next up are the larger, chunkier glitters as well as, I think they're called flakies. I think I have a couple of those too. But over here on the left, this first one is from Sinful Colors and this is in the shade Pride. This is a beautiful kind of rainbow glittery topper. Um, if you put two to three coats down, you can wear it all on its own. And I'm almost halfway finished with this one, so it's one of my all-time favorite glitters. I will be hanging on to that. I have one from Zoya here. This is in Monet. And this is an interesting polish. This is definitely a topper. These glitters are really large and they're a little sparse. Generally, I'll have two coats down on the nails, but the glitters in here are just gorgeous. I have this one from China Glaze, and this is huge glitters. The, these are really huge glitters in this bottle. Um, this is in the shade Glimmer More, and I'm just not a fan of how the large glitters are placed on the nails. It just doesn't look right to me, so I will be passing this one on. Here is a polish from Revlon, and this is full of white and red. There's some circle glitters as well as the bar glitters in here. This one is in number 678 Graffiti Top Coat. So I like this one around Christmas time, so I will be hanging on to this one for the holidays. Next up is one from Maybelline. This is their Color Show Street Art polish in green graffiti number 32. This one looks so cool in the bottle. It's got those skinny bar glitters as well as the round ones, but I just don't like how this place this is placed on the nails. So I will be decluttering this one. I just haven't found a way to have this look nice on the nails, honestly. So that one will be going. These next few ones are called Flakies, I think. So this is from Revlon. This is one of their moon candy polishes and I'm not I'm not focusing on this purple part but the glittery section down here this is what I'll be focusing on. I'm already halfway finished up with it and the specific shade is 280 Orbit. So I really like how this looks on the nails. I just don't like the texture that it leaves on the nails. It's very gritty and rough. So I will probably be using this up sooner rather than later. Here is one from Sally Hansen. This is the Hard as Nails Extreme Wear line and their glitter effect in number 950, Court Jest. And I just really like the shape of these glitters or flakes, I guess. And I just like the tone. So I will be hanging on to this one. This is from Maybelline. This is one of their Color Show Jewels polishes in Gilded in Gold, number 608. And I like to put this on the tips of my nails when I'm wearing like a pale blue or a green. I'll just put it on the very tips. So hanging on to that one. This is from Sephora by Formula X. I am not a fan of how this feels 
This is just like the Revlon one down here where it leaves like that really rough texture on the nails. So I will probably be using this one up sometime this year. This is in the shade or the name Hyperactive. So it looks gorgeous over like a black or really dark polish, but I don't wear this on its own. Here is one from Maybelline, another one of the Color Show Jewels. This one is in number 600. Precious Pearl, and I wore this one just the other day. These little white glittery pieces in here almost have like a pearly finish to them. My nails reminded me of Easter eggs when I had this on, so I will be decluttering this one. Maybe I'll send it off to my niece or something. She might like that kind of a topper. And finally, I have this one from OPI Nail Lacquer, and this is the Shatter Polish in White Shatter. So I don't generally reach for a shatter polish, and if I do, I would reach for a black one. So I'm probably going to be decluttering this one as well. So I have four back here that I'm getting rid of, and I'm hanging on to seven. Just some extras. So this over here, this is the foil look from Formula X. And this is a really high shine metallic polish. It's this really light pink shade. So I will be hanging on to this. This one comes with its own top coat too. I have this Nail Rock Nail Velvet. It's a really dark navy blue polish. It comes with this really dark navy polish that almost looks black. And then you have this little canister thing of velvet. You dip your nails into this powder here while they're wet and it'll leave like a velvety finish on your nails. So it's kind of cool. It leaves a nice texture to the nails. So I'm hanging on to this one. And I have two of these nail striper things. You can open the one end and it's like a striper for like a French manicure or something. You can also pop the top off and it's a little pen. So I will be hanging on to both of these. I like the black one for like holiday nail art, maybe for Halloween or something. And then this one, this is from Art Club. I like this one for a French manicure. And then I do have one thing of Essie nail vinyls that I'll be hanging on to. And that's all of my nail polish and my accessories. So here is a collective look at all of the polishes that I'm decluttering. There are 35 polishes here that I am either passing along to my mother, my niece, my friends, or there's three or four that I'm going to be tossing into the trash. So I will show you a quick overview of all of the polishes that I have left. Here is an overview of the polishes that I kept. I have 99 actual bottles of polish that I'm keeping. And I have two that are in the boxes right over here. So adding these two on, I have 101 polishes, so. That was everything. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.